Hello, hello there, and welcome back to Wotham aboard the USS Fort Knox. I mean, the USS Frank Knox, which is yet another US Rank 3 premium ship. This time, it's a premium destroyer at battle rating 4.7, and the reason why I make it is because the US lacks ships. I mean, look at this. They only have six premiums at Rank 3. They just lack a proper lineup at 4.7 and 5.0 the ship was urgently needed and i'm glad that it has now even better performance than the moffat because that is what naval forces really needed sarcasm off honestly this ship is better than the moffat for quite a few reasons some are minor some are huge advantages over the Moffats, and the Moffats is already considered one of the, if not the best gun destroyer in the game. So the biggest difference is that you have six instead of eight 5-inch 38s, and that you have a battle rating of 4.7 instead of 5.0 compared to the Moffat or the Davis. However, in any other respect, this ship might just be here and there a little bit or outright straightforward better than the Moffat and that in addition to the significantly better environment because 0.3 battle rating difference in naval forces can make or break a ship there is so much compression if you think that you're suffering in planes or tanks you have no idea what you're talking about naval forces is the most compressed game mode that you can imagine however this ship also has the joint highest civil line modifier in the game with 4.0 times 2.0. So with the premium account, it is 1,200% civil line income, which is huge. And because you face more destroyers than cruisers, especially compared to the Moffat, you just get on average more kills, which means even more income. And that was so consistent, that was so reliable, that I think that I absolutely can recommend the ship. And if I'm not mistaken, this ship is 1,200 uh, golden eagles compared to now the moffat's 1750 and uh, you earn as much or even more and that with outright better handling characteristics while the raw firepower is reduced by 25 percent you know it's still really really good as you can see and also wait later for the results because they just show what's going on so um, what's the ship? Well, the ship is a touch slower than the Moffat, 64 instead of 69 kilometers per hour. You have also then better armor. You have 19 millimeters of side uh, anti-fragmentation armor and 13 millimeters of anti-fragmentation deck armor. That's the same armor characteristics and overall layout as on the USS Cowell, which is a Fletcher class destroyer. And the Moffat has a little bit less with only 12.7 um, on the deck and on the side. But, you know, that is what makes the Frank Knox just a little bit more survivable versus HE spam. And obviously the internals are that the front ammo rack is submerged below the waterline. And there is no armor to set off APHE fuses. But the rear ammo rack can actually get hit it's just at the waterline and uh, yeah you have to go to watch out for that then let's quickly talk about the torpedoes they are the same as on the uss moffat so you have uh, also a torpedo mod they don't have the strongest warheads with only 224 kilograms of tnt but now you have 10 of them and you have also significantly better firing angles for both launches, which have five tubes each. Yeah, math is difficult. And yeah, the problem is that the single torpedo might not hit anything or like um, saturating an area. The two extra torpedoes are just a little bit nicer. And also the torpedo firing angles are a big drawback on the Moffat. It's not as criminally bad as on the Japanese torpedo cruisers like the Mikuma, but it's still on, not really nice on the Moffat. On the Frank Knox, you then also can have better chances in a brawl. Talking about the brawl, 
the gun handling is just superb and probably the main difference. First of all, all three turrets have 360 degree turning capabilities. And they also turn faster with up to 25 degrees per second compared to the Moffat's 15 degrees per second, which makes a huge difference. Also, the gun elevation speed is faster with 15 degrees per second compared to 12 degrees per second. And then there is also the gun elevation angle because we have the Mark 38 mounting instead of the Moffat's, what is it, uh, mount Mark 22. Now, why is that important? Well, the Frank Knox can elevate the guns really high up to 85 degrees and depress them to minus 15, whereas the Moffat has a mere 10 degrees of gun depression and plus 35 degrees of gun elevation. And that just gives you a certain impression where this is going. Because on top of this, you have the same ammunition as the USS Moffat which is unsurprising and the same rate of fire of 2.8 seconds and you have 40 rounds in the first ready rack then you have the standard hg shell two different sets of sap rounds with the best being the one that has 150 millimeters of penetration and 906 grams of tnt bursting charge and then your proximity HE shells and you can guide them in on enemy planes because you have a radar which the USS Moffat doesn't have. It's not a surface radar but nonetheless you have it. So the next thing which is then when it comes to the defensive capabilities another big plus point you don't have the pathetic 28 millimeter guns that the Moffat has to field you have 40 millimeter Bofors and they are really nice topped off with also quite a few 20 millimeters so you have two twin and two quadruple 40 millimeter mountings and so you can hose down those patrol boats when your turrets are knocked out uh, the close range to mid-range defense versus planes is much better although i have been killed and there you can see the massive income uh 240 000, uh civil lines without a booster and not much has come from the uss douglas and that was consistent that i made so easily over 200 000 civil lines whereas you know i guess i would have made 170 000 with the uss moffat you kind of see where it's going. So let's summarize the shit. It is a bit slower and it has two guns less. But for that it has lower battle rating, it has overall better performance on the gun handling and it has better armor. It has more torpedoes with better firing angles and on top of this it has radar. It's cheaper than the Moffat in terms of uh, Golden Eagle's cost nowadays and all that combined asks me one thing. Will the next premium destroyer that the US inevitably will get in the long run be basically a Moffat at 4.7 with radar and all the gimmicks and 40 millimeters? I don't know. But all that I know is that the US are the most brutal destroyer lineup that there is. And um, yeah, the radar is not perfect with the lead indicator. You have to lead the lead indicator. But this is how high up I could destroy ships. I was about to die here anyway because of lack of crew. And then the bomb really uh, ended my suffering. So fantastic ship. I can absolutely recommend it. But it makes naval forces just that little bit more two-dimensional. And I guess it won't be too long before the bots will jump on this ship. And that's it for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as usual, we will see each other on the battlefields, in the skies and on the waves of War Thunder.